Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Cause We Love to Scrap and today I am working with um, everybody over at the Mad About Mini Paper Pads YouTube Hop and I'm also doing May I Scrap Lift You. Today I am scrap lifting Catherine Blue who is Crafty Queen Cat over on Instagram. That was her page that I'm scrap lifting and here is my take on that page as well. I am going to be using this Summer Mega Pad from Echo Park and or it maybe cartabella uh let me see it is from cartabella um and there's some stuff on my desk that i'm going to try and get used as well i'm just showing you those things as well anywho um again i am going to be scrap lifting catherine blue and so um i start by looking at her page for inspiration and at the top of her page she has some um, splatters so that's what I'm doing here this one that I'm using right now is eggnoggin um, it's a shimmers vibes and then I'm going to be bringing in a pink lemonade shimmers vibes as well there we go and then to finish this off, I'm going to be bringing in um, Distress Oxide Spray in Speckled Egg. I set that over to dry and then I'm going to start working on my layout. Here are my pictures of my um, handsome cat Malcolm. He is sitting right on the recipe for the, um, the recipe that I want to cook on my cookbook and he thinks he's helping and again he is not this is like the third page i have scrapbooked him helping quote unquote um which means he just sits on whatever it is that you need so um i do pull these three two scraps and this one page out of my um, mega paper pad there and these are the things that i'm going to use to build my page I'm going to grab some um, dyes. I'm going to use this Coco and Reno dye, which is a bunch of bows. And then I'm going to use a close to my heart dye, which is these tags. So first thing I do is I trim down this, um, this pa paper right here to do my mat for my kitty cat. And then I'm going to do a dye of that green polka dot paper for a tag which um, Catherine has on her page and then I'm going to go ahead and do this this um, why can't I speak bow dye using this pink red polka dot So now I'm gonna go ahead and build up this uh, bow tie. If you don't know how to make these kind of ties, you fold these into um, bows. So you just fold those over and glue them down. And then you glue that piece. Um, as you can see here, I am using my um, art glitter glue to go ahead and hold it there for a second. Uh, at the same time as m me making this video, I'm also making dinner. So I go off and then I come back and then I go off and come back. So, um, sorry, I, you might have missed it. You glue that folded piece down to the um, bottom piece and then you use the little rectangle to go around the middle. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to put this, this is how I'm going to arrange this. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put my tag right there. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for a doily. 
which Catherine has on her page. She has a tag and a doily. And I think she has a horse. Um, instead of the horse, I'm putting the bow. And so um, I do try it this way as well. I do not like it. So I go back this way. And so now I'm going to start going ahead and putting this down. I go ahead and distress all of the edges on my cat pictures and my mat and my tag. And I'm just going to stick all of that stuff down with my Tombow tape runner. One thing when I went off screen was because um, I always do my try to do my distressing over my garbage can. Otherwise, all those little teeny tiny pieces of fluffy paper get all over my desk and I can't stand it. So I try to do it over my trash. Um, see, uh, you can see I just went off camera and I'm doing that um, over the trash can so that all those little papers fall in the trash can instead of on my workspace. I have this little lace um, ribbon that I'm going to go ahead and staple onto my tag. Uh, I go back and forth whether I want to center it with the tag and the ribbon or just center the tag and I do go with just centering the tag itself and the ribbon kind of sticking up. I only glue down that um, doily in the center so that it kind of pops up on the edges. I thought that was kind of cute. I'm gluing down that bow and now I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Once again, centered, the tag is centered, not the tag and the ribbon. So I'm going to finally bring out this and use some of these pieces on this um, old Maggie Holmes thickers. I'm going to glue down my title which says today. I'm going to do it a little wonky, which I wound up liking. I did that on purpose, I should say. Um, now I'm going to look for some stickers. I only bring in three. There wasn't a bunch. A lot of them say summer, sun, blah, 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 which this is, none of them have, you know, my cat is a great helper type sticker. So um, I did a thank you sticker and a hello sticker and um, some little flowers to go on that doily. And then um, I was thinking about something else, but I decided to go against it. I used three of these gold hearts on this layout, and then I bring in a leaf to stick out of my doily on the bottom. I thought that would be okay since I have the ribbon kind of sticking up on the top part of that tag. So now I'm just going to add my journaling and then you'll see that uh, I struggle with a spot of one of my um, splatters. It got smeared so it was really bothering me. Every time I looked at it, it bothered me. So I pull out my speckled egg distress oxide and I just use the nozzle to make some giant splatters on the page just like that and I'm gonna make a couple more just so that it's not so completely out of place and then I'm gonna call this good um, I'm gonna show you this and then I decide oh wait I didn't do those things that I set aside and then I thought you know what no this is done so here's some close-ups um, again this is for the mini pad um, mini paper pad YouTube hop so make sure you check out everybody else in the description if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.